Today's coast review is of Wicked Twister at Cedar Point. Beginning 2016, this will be one of the five coasters at Cedar Point that are over 200 feet tall. I'll be discussing all of my thoughts on this cool thrill ride right here, right now. But of course, let's first break down the stats. So its maximum height is 215 feet, but it really doesn't feel that tall when you're actually riding it. Its drop is 206 feet, but that is depending on which seat you are in. If you're in the back seat or the front seat, then yes, the drop probably is 206 feet. But there are points that because of the way that the coaster works, the drop can be really short. So I think this is one of those coasters that you really have to decide which seat you would rather sit in. I only got to ride this coaster once when I was at Cedar Point, and I chose the back seat. But I know a lot of people would rather have the front seat. But I think that if you do ride this coaster, you should definitely try and ride in one of those two rows. If you ride in the middle, then you probably aren't getting as cool of an experience as if you're sitting in the back or the front car. Its angle of descent is 90 degrees. I mean, it's two vertical spikes, straight up, straight down. And it has multiple launches, a couple of them forwards, a couple of them backwards, and that maximum speed you're hitting is 72 miles per hour. You do not hit 72 at the first launch. I believe that maximum speed is at the third launch. And that's when you go up to the highest point of the tower. But actually, most of the spirals that you're doing, you don't even go all the ways up the spike. Now let's talk about ride experience. How enjoyable is this coaster? It's very repetitive. I think that this is one of those one-trick pony coasters. It has the fun launch and the twisting spiral, but other than that, it, there's really not a whole lot to it. This is the only coaster at Cedar Point that goes backwards, and of course because it only operates with one train, the operations are going to be slower. It is a longer train though, which is good, and unlike some of the other Intamin Impulse coasters, this one rotates on both spikes. On some of the coasters like V2 at Six Flags Great America, the back spike is just plain vertical, and the front one twirls as you're going up. This is the only one of its kind. However, there are several other intimate impulse coasters in the United States. Many people consider this one the best, though, because it twirls both ways. So when I rode this coaster, I just thought it was fine. It's kind of one of those fun rides. It's not really supposed to be intense. I wouldn't say that it was that great of a ride. I think that when it comes to riding some of the coasters at Cedar Point, it's not the biggest deal if you miss out on this one. I mean, it is one of their larger coasters, so you should try to get on it. But I think there are definitely some better coasters at Cedar Point. So in terms of the final score out of 10, I give Wicked Twister a solid 7. It's definitely a good coaster. It's just nothing really all that outstanding. I got off and I said, oh, that was fun. Okay, what's next? So that's really all my thoughts on Wicked Twister. I want to know what you think of this ride. Is this one of your favorites at Cedar Point? Is this your favorite Intamin Impulse Coaster? I want to hear about it, so make sure to post those comments below, and I'll catch you guys next time.